Wizara ya kilimo imeiagiza bodi ya nafaka na mazao kubadilisha mbolea zote bandia zilizonunuliwa na wakulima kwenye magala yake. Na mkatibu wa wizara hiyo Paul Rono ameitaka NCPB kuwapa wakulima wote walioathirika mbolea mbadala iliyofikia kiwango hitajika cha ubora. Na mnajiri kumkurugenzi wa kampuni ya SBL Josiah Kimani Kariuki akiojiwa na DCI kuhusu sakata ya mbolea kushi. Na msafina Chenga Uma na taarifa hiyo. Huku uchunguzi kuhusu sakata ya mbolea gushi inayosambazwa kwa wakulima nchini ukiendelea kushika kasi. Katibu katika Wizara ya Kilimo Paul Rono ameiamuru bodi ya kitaifa ya nafaka na mazao NCPB kubadilisha mbolea zote zilizonunuliwa na ambazo zilipatikana kutofikia viwango vya ubora vinavyohitajika. Serikali ikisema hatua hiyo inalenga kuwasaidia wakulima walioathirika. For the farmers who have used the fertilizers already, we have also analyzed the missing ingredient in those fertilizers, which will be addressed by depressing our fertilizers which are in our store. Hakikisho hili linajiri siku moja baada ya serikali kusitisha usambazaji wa mbolea za kampuni ya Kale Chemicals iliyonyang'anywa leseni baada ya kudhibitishwa kuwa mbolea zake haziafikii viwango vya ubora vinavyohitajika Rono ameonya kuwa watakaopatikana na hatia watachukuliwa hatua za kisheria What you will be hearing are only people in court people in jail and some disappearing And the reason is we cannot allow our food security basket to be messed up by few individuals. Onyo hili likijiri huku mfanyibiashara ambaye ni mkurugenzi wa kampuni ya SBL Josiah Kimani Kariuki akifika katika afisi za DCI mapema Jumamosi kujibu maswali kuhusu sakata hiyo akiendamana na mawakili wake Kariuki alisisitiza kuwa mbolea anayotengeneza ni halali. I applied the license through KEBS. They went to the factory. They took a sample and they asked me to send something called methodology of whatever I was doing. I have everything on WhatsApp. I did send them what I was doing and they came back and they said you can start your business and that how I started. Yeye akotiari kupeana listi ya wale wakulima ambao wanatumia mbolea yake taifa zima na vyombo vya habari viweze kwenda pale na kuangazia na kupiga darubini na kuona kwamba je mbolea yake ni gushi ama mbolea yake si gushi mfanyibiashara huyo aliwasilisha ombi mahakamani kuzuia kukamatwa kwake akisema kuwa kuhusishwa kwake kwenye sakata hiyo ni njama ya washindani wake wa kibiashara kumhangaisha serikali inajaribu juu chini vile Cliff alivyosema kutoa ukweli pali upo na kuwekelea karioki kwamba mbolea yake ndio hiyo kushi ni sakata ambayo inazidi kuibua hisia mseto miongoni mwa viongozi nchini hawa watu tunawajua na tunaomba serikali iwashike iwaweke ndani ili wakulima wawe safe wapate mbolea kutosha Safin Acheng Oma Runinga ya Citizen okay.